Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick and practical tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a custom countdown timer in Canva, even if you've never tried making one before. By the end of this video, you'll have a sleek and fully functional countdown you can use for presentations, live streams, or even social media, all without any complicated software or coding. Let's dive right in and get started. All right, our first step is to head over to Canva. If you haven't used Canva before, don't worry, it's honestly one of the most user-friendly design tools out there and you can use it for free. Once you're logged in, look for the Create a Design button, usually hanging out in the top right corner. Click on that and instead of picking a standard template size, go for custom size. Here, where it's important, set your dimensions to 100 by 50 pixels. This size is perfect for a compact countdown timer, not too big or overwhelming for your slide, but clear enough to do the job. Go ahead and create your new design. Next, we're going to select the template type. In the search bar or suggested templates, type in countdown timer. Canva actually offers a bunch of pre-made timer designs, which saves you from having to build one from scratch. Just pick one that matches your style or the vibes of your event. Once you select a template, you can personalize it with your colors, fonts, or any additional details you'd like. Think of this part like dressing up your timer to match the rest of your presentation. It doesn't have to be fancy, but a little customization goes a long way. Now here comes a slightly techy but super important part. We're going to generate the actual series of numbers that the timer will count down through. For this, we'll hop over to Excel or any spreadsheet tool you like. Start by typing in the first two numbers of your countdown, so if you want a 40-second timer, write 40 in one cell and 39 right below it. Then select both cells, and when you see the little dot at the corner, drag it down until you reach zero. This drag-to-fill trick quickly generates all the numbers you'll need without having to type them by hand. Once you have your full countdown column, save the file as a CSV, a comma-separated values file. Don't worry if you've never done this before, just head to File, then Save As, and pick CSV from the File Type options. Let's jump back into Canva. Here's a tip, before anything else, click on the text field in your countdown timer design, this is where your numbers will go. With the text selected, right-click on it. You should see an option that says Connect Data. This is where Canva allows you to link your design to the CSV file we just made. But first, we need to activate Canva's Bulk Create feature. In Canva, look along the side panel and find the Apps section. Type in Bulk in the search bar and select Bulk Create. Now you'll be able to upload that CSV we prepared. Click Upload CSV, select your file, and once it's uploaded, click Continue. Canva's going to work some magic and auto-generate pages, each with a different countdown number based on your CSV, so you'll get a page for every second from 39 down to 0. If you want to include a 40 at the start, simply duplicate your first page and edit the number to 40. And that's it, your entire countdown timer is now ready to use. You can export these pages as a video or GIF, or use them however best fits your project. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you have any questions or run into any trouble, please drop a comment below, I'm always happy to help out. And of course, subscribe for more easy Canva tips and creative tutorials. Thanks for watching.